How do you counter tanning myths for skin cancer prevention? Many people believe that getting a tan makes them look healthier or more attractive, but in reality, tanning is a sign of skin damage caused by ultraviolet rays. There is no such thing as a safe or healthy tan. Whether from sun exposure or tanning beds, any change in your skin color indicates injury to your skin cells, which increases your risk of skin cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form. Tanning is your skin's response to damage, not a sign of good health. Tanning beds are often thought to be safer than natural sunlight, but this is a myth. Tanning beds emit ultraviolet lit rays that can be even stronger than the sun's rays. Using tanning beds just once can raise your risk of melanoma by about 20%. If you start using them before age 35, your risk jumps by around 75%. The ultraviolet radiation from tanning beds damages your skin just like natural sunlight does, so avoiding them is the safest choice. Many believe that having a base tan can protect them from sunburn or further damage. But a base tan is actually a sign that your skin has already been damaged. It does not provide real protection against ultraviolet rays. Relying on a tan for protection is dangerous because it can give you a false sense of security and lead to more damage over time. Some think that tanning is necessary for vitamin D production. While ultraviolet B rays from the sun help your body make vitamin D, tanning beds mainly emit ultraviolet A rays, which do not help with vitamin D synthesis. Most people can get enough vitamin D through diet, supplements, or incidental sun exposure without risking skin damage. It's also a myth that UV rays only cause harm on hot, sunny days. Ultraviolet radiation can penetrate clouds and reflected off surfaces like water or sand, so skin damage can happen year-round, even in winter or on cloudy days. That's why consistent sun protection is important no matter the weather or season. Everyone, regardless of skin tone, should protect their skin. Darker skin has more melanin, which offers some natural protection, but it does not make you immune to skin cancer. Skin cancers in people with darker skin are often diagnosed later and can be more serious. So, wearing protective clothing, using broad-spectrum sunscreen with at least SPF 30, seeking shade during peak hours, and checking your skin regularly for new or changing moles are all important steps for everyone. To help your family stay safe, emphasize that tanning is a sign of skin damage, not beauty. Encourage avoiding tanning beds completely. Make sunscreen a daily habit, even on cloudy days. Wear hats and protective clothing, especially during the hours when the sun's rays are strongest. Teach family members to check their skin regularly and see a healthcare professional if they notice anything unusual. Address myths directly by explaining how ultraviolet rays cause skin damage and increase cancer risk in simple, clear language. Promote embracing natural skin tones and rejecting societal pressures to tan. By sharing these facts and practical tips, you can help your family prevent skin cancer and keep their skin healthy for years to come. Always remember to consult healthcare professionals for personalized advice and guidance.